Hello and welcome to a new video of Explore Bio. If you are working in the area of genomics, dealing with sequences and assemblies, this video is for you. In this video, in very simple way, you will learn what are reads, contiques, and scaffolds. So let's get started. Suppose you have a genome comprising of a single chromosomal DNA, but eukaryotes mostly have multiple chromosomes. For simplicity, I am just taking one. If you want to get whole genome sequenced, you need to sequence its individual DNA. But the problem is that with the existing sequencing technologies, it is not feasible to sequence entire genome at once in majority of organisms. So the approach scientists use is to fragment the whole genome into smaller fragments which is termed as genomic DNA library that can now be sequenced. After sequencing, these short sequences are assembled together utilizing overlapping regions to rebuild the entire genome. This approach is called as shotgun sequencing of genome. So first we will see what are reads. Reads are the smallest and the most basic unit of sequencing. A read is a short sequence obtained after next generation sequencing of fragmented DNA libraries. If the sequencing is done from one end of the fragment, it is called as single end read or if it is done from both the ends of fragment, it is called as paired end sequencing read. Read length depends upon the type of sequencing platform used but commonly they range between 150 to 300 bases. The next step is to assemble these reads. The short reads are assembled to form a larger sequence based upon the overlapping regions of individual reads. This involves extensive computational power and tools to assemble the sequences. This way, we get bigger genomic sequences termed as contigs. Contigs are much larger than the reads and may range from few hundred bases to few KBs or MB long without any missing sequence information or gaps. But the contigs are not large enough to cover or represent the entire chromosomal DNA. If there is information about relative position of contigs or distances among them, these contigs can be chained or connected together incorporating few gaps to form much longer sequences termed as scaffolds. Gaps are represented by few or more ends in the scaffold. Using large read sequencing technologies like PacBio or Nanopore and better assemblers, number of gaps can be reduced. Ideally, one scaffold should represent one chromosomal DNA with no missing sequence information or gaps. I hope now you learned what are short sequencing reads, the assembled contigs and large scaffolds that represents chromosomal DNA. In my upcoming videos, I will explain about ESTs, unigenes and transcripts and what are the basic differences among them. So stay connected. I have made a series of video on transcriptome and its analysis. You can also check my quick tutorial on how to run local blast on your PC. If you like this video, do share with others. Hit the subscribe and bell icon to get notified about my latest uploads. Check out my playlist on techniques, research, publishing, markers and others. At last, thanks for watching and see you in my next video.